G'day, welcome to another episode of Compost TV. Today, we're looking at turning compost piles or compost windrows with a loader, the method and the purpose. Let's get out into the yard and have a look. So we're gonna show you the process of handling materials using a loader. I'll show you the wrong way, I'm gonna show you the right way. So here we go. We're getting into the pile. Right, neutral, neutral tip or toe. Right, lifting up as we're going in. You get a full bucket. You can see the heat coming off that. Look at the steam from the inside of the pile. So we're lifting up the material at the moment. And let's see what he's gonna do with that. So we're just showing you the process of actually putting the material down. So you see, as he's putting it down, he's not putting it all down at the same time. All right, he's letting it cascade out of the bucket and roll down the front of the pile. All right, what that does is it helps material, it helps the material break up and loosen and better aerates it, better mixes it, keeps it, keeps it looser. What you can see is he's got a high lift bucket. The high lift bucket allows him to reach and tip from a height, which allows the material to cascade down and basically get a nice roll. So when you're turning with a loader, so when you're turning with a loader, excuse me, what that enables is it enables the material to be loosened and clumps broken up in the process of rolling the material. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up some and we're just gonna tip the whole lot out with one big dump. Now just remember, he's already just loosened this, all right, so it's not probably a fair, perfectly fair example. Again, look at that heat coming out of it. All right, so if all he does is drop it, all right, then effectively what you're doing is you're moving the material, and that's great, but you're not allowing it to roll down and effectively aerate, or as effectively aerate, as if you're tipping it, cascading it out at the top of the pile. Doesn't matter what type of machine you're using, we need to remember that there's a purpose for turning. We're trying to break up the clumps and mix the materials effectively. We're distributing moisture through the pile, particularly where we've had to irrigate the outside to moisten it up. We're mixing that into the, and through the pile. And we're reducing the density of the material. We're loosening it, reducing the density of it to increase the penetration of air once we've reformed it through convection and diffusion. We aerate it in the process of turning, but the reduced density also helps air get into the pile after it's been turned. We're turning it inside out, again, to make sure that all those materials spend their time in the center of the pile and are subject to the heat required for effective pasteurization. And we're trying to protect our pad to avoid mixing any materials from the pad into the compost pile and either damaging the pad or otherwise affecting the quality of the compost. But Either way, it doesn't matter what type of machine we're using for turning, we've got these fundamental purpose to try and achieve in the process of turning. It's not just load shifting. 